This is how ChatGPT normally looks like, but it won't be like this anymore. Today I had finally came up with the most awaited and on-demand tutorial for ChatGPT which makes it totally unstoppable, especially if you are interested in these categories. But promise that you will watch the video till last cause I promise you won't regret watching this video. Say welcome to the mastermind for ChatGPT, the AI PRM extension. Add it to Chrome and look at magic happen in ChatGPT. This will totally change the way people use ChatGPT now and by the way it's free and free is good. We all want to benefit from ChatGPT to the best of its abilities but we don't know how to use it the right way. Don't you worry cause the beauty of this tool is whatever you need, whatever, you just need a single word with the right option selected. For example, if you want mid journey prompts, select this option mid journey prompt generator and type your word here cats for example. It will generate mid journey prompts for cats, here you go. The same way you can write a complete book in just one click. How fascinating is that? Get monthly content calendar in one click and create a course in just one click. I'll try out as many features as I can to show you how this chat GPT extension can benefit you and me in ways we can't even imagine. Before I dive deep into this, hit that like button so that more and more people can benefit from this video and also welcome back to the channel with another AI video. First, let me walk you around this space. Let's hide this sidebar. Above, you can see a drop down menu with the name topic. You can select any topic or category you want to use ChatGPT for, whether it be copywriting, DevOps, generative AI, productivity, and all these other topics. If you click on any one of these, you will find a list of prompt generators you can choose from. Inside the activity tab, think of any activity you can with ChatGPT, and you will find it here from accounting to games development. SEO to mid journey prompts, stable diffusion, web development, almost anything. Click on any one action you want to do and you will find a list of more options to select from. This is only the tip of the iceberg. There are 3446 prompts we can use. In the sort by tab, you can choose to view the ones with the top views, top votes or latest updates. And if you don't find what you are looking for in all these tabs, you can search for it directly here, like Amazon listing for example. And there we go. At the bottom you will see three tabs to select your language, the tone you want ChatGPT to respond in and the writing style. I will be launching a series of videos basically a course with the name Mastering ChatGPT and show you how you can do the same so don't forget to subscribe. We'll go exploring these topics one by one and see how many prompts we get to play with. Let's select copywriting and oh boy. We have 1338 prompts which are there to help us in copywriting only. We have options like write a complete book in one click, YouTube script creator, one click blog post, creating Facebook ad copy. You know, let's try this one out. Write a complete book in one click. Let's say if we want to write a book on productivity. Just one word, okay? And let's see what AIPRM comes up with. So we got the book title, an outline of its chapters and each chapter won't be less than a thousand words and also a detailed book introduction. Can we write 15 chapters of thousand words in just one day? I don't think so, but we can with this tool now. As ChatGPT has its own limitations per response, that's why it can't create the whole book in one click. Click on the continue option you will see at the bottom and it will write another chapter of thousand words. Repeat the process until you get the whole book and you can also go back and forth with ChatGPT to change a chapter or change a part in that book you want. With the copywriting category selected, under the activity tab, you can select what you are particularly interested in. For example, you want copywriting prompts for marketing, there you go, for outreach, product description and so many more. The more you explore this, the more you will know where to find the exact prompt you are looking for. Moving to the second option, DevOps, we get 34 prompts to use. This is something I don't have expertise in so I won't go much into detail but anyone who understands these will for sure know its potential. Like there's a Google Cloud Platform Architect prompt, Oracle Database Simulator, Transform Data into SQL Table and so many more. If you are a developer then this is for you. The third one is generative AI which is the most interesting use case of this tool many people are interested in including me. You get prompts for mid journey, stable diffusion, DAL-E, 
You can use mid journey prompts on other generative AI like Leonardo AI, Blue Willow AI and other alternatives to mid journey. I have a tutorial on this which I will link in description. We can generate t-shirt prompts, UX UI mockup prompts, creating a logo in one minute and so on. There are different prompts per DALI if you want to make your art on DALI and also stable diffusion. If you search Leonardo, we can create negative prompts as well which are a lot helpful in creating characters. Exploring the marketing category, we have 369 prompts just for marketing. We can do marketing for partnerships, media channels, web development and so on. This one is so so important. Get monthly content calendar in one click. I will be making a separate video on this that how we YouTubers can use this. We get prompts for Instagram marketing, make a course in one click, do Facebook marketing, LinkedIn, 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 oh man linked in engagement and if we go to the next page we have prompts for google ads also email marketing and the list goes on and on every prompt is so important that i can't just try one now or else the video would get too long for now we are just exploring what are the options available for each category and how we can use this tool to our advantage moving to the next topic operating systems we have only nine prompts for this category there are prompts for linux windows 10 mac os bbs operating system and some others if you know someone who can get benefit from any of these tools don't forget to share with them up next we have the productivity section i don't know why there are chat gpt jailbreaks in the productivity section but if you look at the activity tab and select plan then we have some cool prompts to play with like lesson plan create a basic mind map memorize anything and roadmap generator in respond we get options like chat gpt jailbreak autocorrect text and other more in summarize we get to summarize an article a research paper summary summarize text in questions generate multiple choice questions book summaries and all this type of stuff there are lots of prompts in every single category the ones i'm highlighting are the ones which i find more important in the SaaS category, if we have to build a SaaS product, SaaS as in software as a service, we would get prompts to make a refund policy for it, a proposal generator, a business to business SaaS marketing budget and all other essential things which are required to build a SaaS product and make it better. In SEO, we have a whopping 753 prompts to use, which is a good sign cause everyone needs SEO in their business. We can do SEO for keywords, link building, outreach, products and so many more. The very first prompt is of human written 100% unique SEO optimized article, keyword strategy, SEO for e-commerce, YouTube SEO title description and tax generator which is very important. If you search Etsy, we get SEO prompts for that, Amazon SEO and so many more fields you can search for. SEO is something we all should be doing. Other than SEO, we have software applications. Under the activity tab, you can select if you are interested in software applications for accounting, CRM, design or spreadsheets. In accounting, we get help with softwares like Xero, QuickBooks, monthly budget calculator and more. I am an accounting student myself, so I know how helpful it can be with just a little tip from ChatGPT in these softwares. Under CRM, we have Salesforce and Dynamics. Under Design, there are prompts to help us with softwares like Blender, UX UI Designs, Graphs and other design softwares. Under Spreadsheets, we all have these prompts for Excel and Google Sheets, which is something we all are familiar with and we all should be. In the software engineering topic, we have a lot to to explore backend development, text editor, version control, and web development. In the backend development, we have prompts to help us in languages like Python, Java, C hash, blockchain, PHP, and so many more I can't even count. There are 83 prompts only for backend development. So if you are a programmer, you definitely need these. In text editor, we have Visual Studio Code, C and C++, Flutter, Swift and some more prompts. In version control, we have Git Genius while in web development, we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript and you name it. There are 57 more prompts to help you with problems in web development. This is totally crazy how ChatGPT can benefit us in almost every field. The last one is listed as unsure which has a mix up of different prompts. 
लाइक ई बुक वन क्लिक क्रिएटर शॉर्टकट टू डैन जॉब इंटरव्यू पर्सनल फिटनेस ट्रेनर फीचर्ड इमेजेस फ्रॉम अनस्प्लैश चैट जी पी टी जेल ब्रेक मैथ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर एंड सो मच मोर We have 291 prompts to try and explore what they can do. This was just an overview of how much this tool can help us in life and in whichever field we are. The next step is to get action and actually benefit from this either for personal use or to make money online from it. I will be launching a series of videos called Mastering ChatGPT which is basically a course in which I will be demonstrating how each of these prompts works and how to use it. So if that's something you are interested in then smash that subscribe button and hit that like button let me know in the comments what you think of this video don't forget to share with family and friends this is ai freak signing out.